Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where hopefully today we can get through some of these new um what do you call them? New holograms? Maybe go return the Colonel of Gaia and give myself the power to fly <laughs> if I don't get that I will be very sad Whoa. Hang on, let's see JTF-10 protected assets critical to the insurrection. Deep in the jungle, concealed by mud and darkness, they laid their traps for their enemies. Okay. I was distracted by what she's doing over there, too. I think we're good on that. I think each one has... Oh, dang it, they don't. Discover how JTF-10 claimed home field advantage in the desert. JTF-10 seized key assets all across the desert. Where others feared the Mojave's raging sandstorms, JTF soldiers used them for cover, crippling enemy supply lines. They were hiding behind the... Um... Observe the grid of JTF-10 in the mountainous regions of the hot zone. Trained to outlast, conditions we for any vigilant. climate. JTF-10 were elite defenders in even the most remote mountain landscapes. Interesting. It would be interesting to see them compared to their previous ones, you know? Ah, uh, hang on, let me read this. Aloy. A word, if you will? Out in the field or relaxing at base, your blade be Joint Task Force 10 acted as strength. one. Led by Colonel Edward De La Hoya, their bodies and weapons were always honed for battle. Meals, ink, Aloy. Ink! Ink! You have a the sky shared it all. Okay, okay. Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your mm -hmm. deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal Oh, yeah? Favor. My grandson. Kabul. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. Oh. He was taken prisoner. No. no. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hakaro cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Cabo is the last of my blood. What made Cabo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. And as for Cavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. I don't know if there's yeah uh, yeah unless he like has like seen the destruction wrought on his own kin essentially like his own people. But I and again it's not they're used to warring against each other. So if Cabo didn't listen to you when he joined the rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cabo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. 
You said Kavo's your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Cavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I mean, yeah, you gotta, you know? What else are you gonna do? There's family, you know? I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I'll meet you there. I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. <laughs> strike true, indeed. Oh, blood for blood. That's gonna be that's gonna be a sad one. That's gonna be a sad one. I'm gonna call it now. Where's see what else do we have? Unknown. Oh, we have more things now. We have a workbench. Maybe I just missed the workbench before, or is that new? The hunter was there. I don't remember seeing a stitcher. Maybe I'm just blind and a moron. <laughs> let's see, let's see. I guess his hatred for the carger runs deep in his sense of loyalty. Ooh. So I asked the chap for I hear you got new. I really would. This, some, I'm sure everybody's got some fairly interesting things to say. Oh, me? What? The tribe is <laughs> you guys really have asked a lot. You are desert. Oh, well, you're desert and sky. Break from this heat. Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. Just tell it to her straight, Ducca. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But mm. Chief Hikaro won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case the machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Mm. Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite oh, you to Oh boy, compete. never mind. A wide variety of machines will never, be available. Nope, I'm good. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. Oh. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best mm. gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Listen, one more thing. Uh. If you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldier's morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. 
Thank you, champion. And please don't forget the parts for the ballista. Wow, they really do. They don't have anybody. Just me. <laughs> I'm the only one with two arms and two legs, apparently. That was that was Guess I need to <laughs> not sensitive, considering Katala. I already have enough bristleback tusks. I do. I, I was pretty sure I had those. Oh, this is new. That's a new opening. Is it? Hmm. Uh, mm. Interesting. The yeah, the attempt to like control the various narratives. I could not pass all the. You are prepared. Uh oh. Oh no. The 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 actual visit. Oh wow, nice. She's she's responding and I think giving several concessions, turning off certain exhibits, like don't like that. A museum is supposed to show both sides of an issue. It doesn't degrade one or the other to show both sides, you know? Ah, Fasha's diary, which he's just leaving scattered around. Oh boy. Oh, Man, I am still sad about him. Ripperino, for reals. I don't care about that. No army can march without supply. Interesting. Not the clothes and stuff, but the other stuff would be cool to have, definitely. <laughs> Interesting, that last entry. Yeah, you can't focus too much. Like, e like I know that like funding, funding's a huge thing for museums, right? It's nothing to scoff at. And like having the support of like a living relative, I guess, of somebody who's you know memory you're trying to keep alive would be key, but. When you just cater to that, it becomes, I don't know, just a vignette of one person? Like, I don't know, there's like, there's like more to the story, right? Which is what the museum is trying to tell, is the entire story. Not just one person. I'm probably missing. I don't think it shows anymore. The... Little boxes that are like, oh yeah, here's what's, you know, a data point that you're missing. Anything up here? Oh. Not a data point, but stuff. My stash. It's my stash? Okay. Not that I apparently know how to access it, but that's what the last question mark is. Now this area is a little hub. I was thinking, if this is the chief sea, like, it's kind of odd that there's not more of a city built up around it. It seems like it's more of a holy place, I guess. But even holy places have, like, trade centers outside of them. Not all of them, obviously, but many. Shall we? Fast travel to the base is always free. It looks like that's nice. I was, like, gonna be worried. That was my, my concern. Was that I wouldn't be able to get to the base, maybe, <laughs> at some point in time. Oh my gosh, I don't know about sending... Oh, your boy in here, though. He's probably... This is probably a bit much to just throw him in. The others at least had a little bit of more exposure to me. I guess Zoe didn't, but... This might be overwhelming. I like this. Oh. Aaron! Yes! I'm not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? <laughs> Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or what? something. Yeah, now that's music. <laughs> he Aloy, 
found music? Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. <laughs> well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. It's well, so good! Well, you've been off gallivanting To around. see them. I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> just the non-verbal communication like yep yeah. is that what i think it is yes so you like hearing me butcher utaru music i sure don't you sound like a dying lion. <laughs> oh it's so good and they have candles up that's so funny and there's plants and stuff in here of course there's plants and stuff in here yeah, look, she brought stuff. Oh my gosh, to plant things with. Erin, my dude. I know we didn't leave it the best of ways, you know? Hey. Hey. A yeah, nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh... Why you had your doubts about bringing us along. There's a lot to take in. But, uh, don't worry. That's nothing I can't handle. Right. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I still try to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sunday. And now I do. Sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful. You know? It takes some time, but... Yeah. That's all he wants! He just wants to be useful and helpful and, like, a friend! I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land. When he's not getting all tongue <laughs> I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. I doubt he will, yeah. He probably would rather you do that. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. I like him a lot. So, Talana came by the base? I'm more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. Poor Aaron's feeling left behind by everybody. I have to go. I guess it's back to... Re <laughs> <laughs> Poor Aaron. He's doing his best. Varl. It's been ages. Oh, this place is starting to come alive. Yeah. And Gaia placed all the data she got from your focus into that archive room. But with the focuses you gave us, we'll be able to access it at our own pace. You know, learn and train. And if you need us, we'll be there to fight at your side. Got it. Thanks, Varl. 
<laughs> friends. Oh, jeez. How's uh training with self? You know we really are training. <laughs> <laughs> Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. She's also beautiful. She's also definitely 100% gonna get... To tr she's gonna train faster than the rest of them. <laughs> you guys reading something over there? We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory. And All Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside. Without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. Truly. Seriously, it's, it's stunning. <laughs> Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. We saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Formal. That one zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. I am loving this face paint so much. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my Oh mother. yeah, I could see that. <laughs> never thought a Tanakh than a Nora war chief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Errant definitely curses the yeah. most. But I'm hoping Asaram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. Okay, I wasn't sure if you can hold the fort while I'm gone. If Aaron stops listening to the same music over and over again, maybe <laughs> we'll be fine. Varl's definitely my second in command. I think Zoe's gonna or Zoe's gonna be the brains behind the operation, but Oh, I get I get treats. Aloy. <gasps> we've gathered some supplies oh. in that chest. Take what you oh need. my goodness gracious. Thank you for things. Medium stamina potion. Oh my goodness, thank you. I'm afraid we'll have to cut it off there in the middle of the interior design extraordinaire, but um, I did, this video did get a little too long, so I had to kind of cut it in half. Um, and this was the best spot I could find, so hopefully it all works out. But thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. And. I hope to see no hope. I hope to see you on the next one for sure. But first I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Riz Kalito, my Sapphic Tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special thank you to my two tree tier patrons. As long as I am reading it correctly and I haven't messed up my interpretation of this. Um, but Christopher, thank you so much for your support. You're the super bestest. I appreciate your tier tree, your tree tier support. <laughs> Um, and Adam, I'm not sure if I've said this in another video before this one or not because I'm editing on a Monday and I'm insane because I've only had like three hours of sleep. But if you have bumped yourself up to a tree tier, um, like level, um, and I need to fix the, the title that you have because it still has you listed as acorn, but you're do it, you, you are paying the tree tier amount. So uh, for now, I'm just calling you a tree tier patron. Um, if the title doesn't switch over next month, maybe it's a monthly thing, then um, I'll try to fix it. But regardless, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. And once again, I hope to see you all in the next one.